Oh, bugger! Well, if you're like me and you're always a fan, seeing these little, uh, yeah, little numbers on the rule here, it get harder and harder and harder. Plus, the increments are only um, in, well, in one millimetre increments. In some cases, it's okay when you want to do a bit of a joinery work, but otherwise, you've got to sort of like go to your verniers and what have you and get the exact thickness that you're after. Now, the real way around this, and that is a digital um, scale for your machine. And I've just bought one, and it came today. Another thing from Amazon, as you do. And this particular one isn't a Wixie. If some of you might already know about the Wixie remote um, scale for your um, fixer, such as this one, and basically it mounts on the side of your fixer, and you get a little digital reader, which is great. But in France, it's really expensive. It's 120 euros here, which is a lot more than what well, I've seen it in the States or even in the UK. So. I found one, I <laughs> had a boom packet. <laughs> Neither side, I haven't opened it yet. And I found one on Amazon FR, but it's also on um, .com as well, and in the UK. And uh, this one is obviously a Chinese import. And from what I can tell from the um, reviews and what have you, it does actually seem to be okay. So I've got to give it a go. So um, this particular one is the 150. Oh, where's my knife? Let me just go get a knife. Ah, it's better. I'm into the box. In the box, in the box. In the cardboard box. Right, so we've got in here, we have our little gadget. I like gadgets. You'll see my office, it's full of gadgets. Right. What do we get in the box? We get a rail. Now this rail isn't any old rail. It should have, and I can see from here, it has a calibration scale within it. I don't know if they're magnetic or if it's um, optical, I'm, I'm not sure. But basically, there, there'll be spacers or they'll, a bit like um, ABS brakes on a car, where you have a disc with those slots in it. There'll be a similar sort of thing. I'm not sure if it's a magnetic type or whether it's an optical type, I'm not sure. But either way, hopefully it works. So effectively what happens is, this gets mounted onto your plane, on the side of the plane as such as this one, in this case, it's probably going to be mounted about here, like so, on this side. Let's bring you around a bit closer, like that. And the idea being, so let's bring you up here like so, here you go. The idea being is, this will be screwed onto here, which is going to be a bit awkward on this machine because it's cast iron, this, this section here. And I can't put it on there because that cover I have to remove occasionally. I don't really want to do that, so somehow I'm going to have to machine, or drill into this cast and self-tap it with some screws. Hmm. Cast iron, self-tapping. Great. I'll go find a, I'll go find a way of bolting through this. Might have to just drill it and bolt straight through. It might be an easier option. And from that you can get another part of this um, device that pretty much fixes this sliding portion to the table. So the table will move up and down as you can see. Car, and then, then this will literally just move up and down this rail. And the um, segmentation um, of this uh, rule portion um, transfers a signal to this portion, which then remotely transfers it to the actual, well, the actual readout itself. And this is a remote readout, which for 45 euros, I thought was actually a pretty good buy. I just hope it's going to work okay. There's no batteries in it. Does it come with batteries? Yes, it does. So we should put those batteries in there. It's a funny old unboxing, isn't it? So let's grab them. Now, within this packet, you don't just get your, obviously, your device itself. In this packet, there's various other like mounts and what have you to allow you to mount the device and um, various other little brackets and what have you, which um, allows you to, I've mounted to this table, but also to here. And this one here, I believe, just literally screws straight on. And then you've got a bracket, which will then help you mount your digital reader that about to drop on the floor. And uh, what else are you in there? So there's two brackets, a load of screws, what have you. And they are, well, two brackets for, I'm not sure what they're for, but I think they might be actually for this even. Looking at them. But then you have a mounting bracket for the actual readout. 
and add some solid screws in the back, you know, a little space for a bit of solid screws in there as well if you so wish. And I think that might be magnetic with that. It is. So, if you're lucky enough, you could just stick it onto whatever you want to stick it onto because it's magnetic. Not very strong magnets, but it is magnetic. Right, because that cable is pressing on it. Let's try again. Yeah, it does hold on, but not very well. The vibration machine is going to end up on the floor and you walk past it or stand on it. Which wouldn't be a great thing because good length of cable there as well. So, I'm going to put these batteries in because I'm blabbering on, aren't I? So, let's get them in if I can get them out. Nothing's easy, is it? There we go. Get them out of there. Now these are CR32's looks of, they're the thicker ones. <laughs> Nothing's easy. Right, so that one all goes in hold R. And then let's put the other one in as well. Let's grab that. Let's get that out. Yeah, use your teeth, Marcus. Bear with should prep this, shouldn't I really? <laughs> but I mean, just got to add the packet, so there you go. It's honest unboxing. So I've got the batteries in, I'm about to slide the cover across. Now I imagine this will require calibrating, but it is on! That's a good sign. So what happens when I move this up and down? And so if you can see there, I'm going to slide it up and the gate, or the display, changes. And as I say, you've got to make sure you put this in exactly the right position. Get it to zero and then you'd um, calibrate it. Sometimes they're not, you don't set to zero. I think on the Wixie ones you don't set to zero, you set to 10 or something, or 30 or 40, to fit to a, and then, that be, then it'll zero from that. So, yeah, so it looks like it's going to work. So, the, how accurate is it? Oh my god, that's one tenth. Yeah, one tenth of a millimetre. So, not mad, is it, really? I keep looking at the wrong pack, I keep looking there. I should be looking at the little end, shouldn't I, really? Hello. Anyway, that's my little unboxing of my, um, I can't even remember the name of it. It's like an eye gauging or one of those sort of Chinese brands. I'll put a link in the description um, below in the, um, well, in the description. I'll put a link in the description, with a description, in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching my little unboxing of my little digital reader, which hopefully is going to save my eyes because I'm struggling reading that thing accurately on the side here, you know, the, the rule. And I do struggle, I've got that little, um, I even painted it red and uh, yeah okay it helps but it's not infallible and nor am I. So there you go. So if you'd be honest, go on and give a like and subscribe and maybe click the little bell icon because then you get a warm fuzzy feeling in your pocket and that'll be me uploading another video. And talking about other videos, I'm going to do a video of me sticking it onto there. But first I need to work out how I'm going to do it. So let me do that and I'm going to make another video. Anyway thank you for watching.